you do good here, very medium. And this is uh, our next project on Frank's mower. We had an oops on Frank's mower during the test drive. The axles aren't supposed to slide out. Axles are not adjustable. Just, just remember that. So we got a spare. It looks like it's a good one. It cycles and moves and everything is all good and we happy with it. But we gotta get the pull out. So today's video is how to pull pull out. We're back. There's a lot of different ways you can do it. Lubricate it, heat it, tap it. Sometimes that works. Um, Redneck Computer Geek does a really good way of uh, putting uh, candle wax onto it, heating it up to where it becomes liquid, seeps down in, lets it cool off, the candle wax expands, breaks the rust and the uh, connection and the candle wax actually lubricates it and you can tap it out and that does really good. Uh, I've seen Mike Marin drill two holes in it, bolts, nuts, use a puller on it and uh, pull it out. What we're going to do today, we're going to try the first method. We're going to do a little bit of heat, a little bit of lubricant, and we're going to tap it a little bit. Not going to do anything that's going to damage uh, the shaft. We don't care about the pulley. I don't care about this pulley. Don't want to damage the shaft or mar it. So, more to come. But it looks like we're getting lucky. I uh, used PB Blaster. Hadn't even applied the heat yet. Let it soak for a few minutes, tapped it, and I appear to have broken the uh, where it has been rust welded and now I'm just going to work it and lubricate it tap it up tap it down you need to be gentle I don't want to break the uh, input shaft I have done that then you got to crack it open it kind of defeats the purpose so we're going to uh, do the kinder gentler approach to this guy I'm going to tap it easy tap it with love tell you what I love that PB blaster because you can see I've worked on this about six minutes and we have been able to free this guy up pretty good stuff not too shabby so we'll have it off in just a few minutes we're going to compare the shaft heights because I think I see a problem or maybe it's just sitting at a funky angle and we can adjust for that uh, with the pulley there. More to come. Okay guys, now we're back and you can see it's a good fit. Cleaned it out. Opened up that set screw there. That little locking screw so I can adjust it whatever height I need to once I get it under there. We'll put it on under and then we'll snug it up and be done with it. Shouldn't cause a problem. Uh, the plastic gas tank or the plastic tank that holds the uh, battery is right above it. Shouldn't really cause a problem. If it is, we'll put in a uh, shorter uh, battery holder. Yeah, there you go. Okay. It's all in. The belt is on. It's lined up. The pulleys are in alignment as well. I measured it, snugged it all down. You've seen that kind of stuff before, so I didn't do it. All the bolts are back on. It's all tightened up and everything is good. But we run out of daylight, so time to go in. Also, it's dinner time. I'm not going to tell you what we're having, but it rhymes with steak. And who should come over while I'm finishing up but the slacker movie star Edward yeah he's kind of pissy now thanks for watching guys thanks for subscribing thanks for all the shares thanks for in the comments as well let me know y'all gonna make some mayhem <laughs>